what is up guys good morning today we're on a flounder hunt continued from the last time i tried to cross over here i haven't posted a video in a week and i haven't really had time to fish a lot but today we are on episode two of the flounder hunt we have got to catch a flounder i mean this is getting ridiculous guys we're in the middle of september it's supposed to be fall we're having record-breaking high temperatures today but hopefully there's a fish on the other side of here waiting on me to put a hook in its mouth so here we go we got to cross over and get wet to get over there i'm going to get set up and we're going to start catching bait and we're going to start fishing Alright guys, so it is super hot out here. It's supposed to be fall like I said. I'm doing everything I can to try to keep from getting sunburn out here. I mean, this is just extreme hot for this time of the year. You know, I live in Mobile, Alabama. I mean, it is just scorching out here. But I went out here and I caught some bait this morning. And I got two, two lines out. And now I'm just kind of sitting and waiting on something to hit those mullet. I gotta go back to my truck and get a knife and re-rig. But I haven't seen anybody catching any quality fish. I've seen a couple of small white trout out here, but no flounder, no redfish, no speckled trout has came up in anybody's boat yet. Let's just keep our fingers crossed, guys. Hope we don't get skunk out here today. All right, guys, we are on. We have a fish on, and it has been hard to come by, I tell you what. Uh, stuck to the bottom. I gotta get it off of the shelf. I gotta walk out here and chase him down. Feels like a stingray for real this time. There's no head shakes. Staying in the mud. It'd be nice if it was a fish, but I hate to say it, but it probably is a stingray. It feels really dense and heavy. Real muscular fish. Man, it's a redfish. Woo! That's a surprise. I'll tell you what, every time I come out here on low tide and I think I got a stingray, it's always a redfish. Um, I'll tell you what, that really cheers me up, man, because I've been out here for about an hour and just absolutely had no life left in me. I had caught bait. It's extremely hot today. Man, just to catch a redfish, man, that's, that's awesome right there. 
Wow. Beautiful fish. I got some really light leader. I'm trying to get my net over here. And, uh, man, I tell you, fishing's getting harder as the season comes to a close. But, uh, yeah, nice little redfish. I think he's about to give out now. He's on his side. Nice hook set. Nice redfish right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. That makes me feel a lot better. Because, uh, I really wasn't expecting to catch anything today. I tell you, I really appreciate the fish you catch out here when you're trying to make YouTube videos because without the fish, you just wouldn't have any, you wouldn't have any content. You wouldn't be able to make a show. I got a number two kale hook in this jaw, in the hard part of his jaw. Oh, God, he crunched my thumb in there in his gills. Oh, that hurt. It's oh. a nice fish. Oh. All right, guys. Redfish number one for the day. It didn't come easy, I tell you what. I've been out here for an hour, hour and a half catching bait. The tide's going out. There's a lot of bait, but there's not a lot of fish biting today. And I tell you, man, this has been super hot today. But I'm still out here trying to get them. And I'm still searching for the flounder. I don't know if we're going to catch it today, but hopefully we will. Let's see if we can get the release on it. Get the camera angled down to the water here. Still going. Put up that good fight. Still strong. Still moving. All right. Still on? You still on? He's got some vigorous head shakes. That, my friends, is a sail cap. And luckily, we got him hooked right in his whisker. So letting him go will be easy and we don't have to hurt our hands. Wow, look at that. Look at that gaff top. I'm sorry, cell cats, what they call this. Gaff top and cell cats, two different things, I think. But the cell cats got these long pectoral fins. And I don't know if you guys up north or over uh, in the different parts of the world have these fish. And I forget this YouTube channel goes worldwide, but this catfish here has a super long fin up top and if you ever touch that or step on that it's full of mucus bacteria type stuff and if it pokes you you'll be sore for a very long time uh, possibly could get bacteria infection but uh yeah there you go look at it 
Imagine how that would move in the water. How psycho is that, man? All right, let's get it back in the water. There goes. Now I gotta get all the slime off my off my leader. And get the slime off of my hands. I'm gonna keep fishing. All right, we on, we on. Yeah, we're recording, we're recording. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a good fish, whatever it is. I gotta get him up out of this hole down here. He's got me on these oyster shells. I don't know if I can get him out of here. I can feel my line on top of some kind of snag. All right, he's up and off now. Whew. Thank God. <sighs> he had me wrapped. Whew. Oh, that's a beefy fish, whatever it is. I'm not really sure. Let me take my clicker off here so I can quit driving you guys insane watching from home. I know that clicker gets aggravating. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? This thing's got some massive head shakes. He's running hard, fighting hard. It might just be another big catfish. Definitely not a stingray. Definitely not a stingray. Oh my God, it's pulling drag on me. I'm scared to tighten my drag down. He'll pop off. This thing's got some power, guys. What could it be? The wind's starting to come in from the south now, southwest, and it's making the water muddy. So the vid excuse me, the visibility has went down. Oh man. Whew, this thing's got some some zest to it. He's a tenacious fish. He's got a lot of energy. Wow. Another redfish. Nice redfish, guys. I tell you what, this one here sure enough put up a fight. The other one stayed low to the bottom, and I thought I had a stingray on, but this one had head shakes. I definitely knew I had a redfish when I hooked into this guy. Oh, look at that large spot on that one. Whoa, between my legs, between my legs. Whoa, whoa, trying to trip me up. <laughs> Woo. Wow, man, how pretty is that fish? That's nice, isn't it? Oh, man, he's got the hook down in his throat down there. Yeah, we're going to have to keep this guy. He choked the hook down. Just gotta walk him over there to my to my little setup. Ah, that's a good eating fish right there. That's a good eating size. I like I like them right about there because when they're bigger than that, they get really large. It's kind of like biting into a big piece of rubber. I like them tender. You know, it's good to fry or blacken whatever you like. All right, let me go ahead and try to get my hands on this fish and get him off of here. Which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because he is definitely choked the hook. Beautiful fish, though. Uh, that's a really large spot on the back. Really large spot. Let's see if I can hold him up where you guys can see. Look at that spot. That thing's huge. Wow, look at that. Beautiful fish. All right, folks. Redfish number two for today. Man, that thing's got a really big spot on the back. I've seen a lot of multi-spot fish and smaller spots, but that's a really large spot. That's really cool. Let me turn them around so y'all can see them in the sunlight. Try to get them in the sun here. Let's 
see that golden color when they're out here in the mud they look a lot darker than they do in the sand i guess they just blend into their surroundings uh, i tell you what i was snorkeling over some one time uh, at the bottom about 15 foot of water in the sand and you couldn't even see them they were just blending in so well because uh they definitely adapt to whatever surroundings they're in as far as the shade and the color of their backs see how dark they are here uh, this one's going home guys this is going to be dinner all right for everyone at home that if you are fishing with live bait and you would like to catch redfish uh, down here in the south i use a 30 pound braid to a 3 8 ounce lead weight and that lightweight keeps me from getting snagged so much in the oysters I got a swivel then I got 16 to 18 inches of 20 pound monofilament line per liter a number two kale hook and of course a live mullet just gonna throw them out there guys and see if we can get another redfish When I set my pole, I always push my button in and put my clicker on so when my drag takes off, it'll just take off. I don't want my button pushed because it could potentially be a large fish and just shoot that way and jerk my rod right out of the rod holder. So that's definitely not what you want. That setup right here is probably 250 for the reel, 115 for the rod, you know. That's almost $400 right there. So, yeah. That's the setup, guys. The weather today sure has taken a turn for the worst. The wind feels good, but it does not help the fishing. As you can see, it just made everything muddy out there. Uh, it's supposed to be getting wind miles, uh, wind mile an hour gust up to eight to 13 miles an hour. So yeah, it was pretty calm for first hour, hour and a half, and now it's just getting rough, but hopefully the fish will still bite. It's just gonna be difficult to catch bait right now. Got another fish. It's trying to get me out there in that oyster shell. The top of that reef again. Ooh. All right, I got him off. He should be right there. Oh, it's a big red fish. Big red fish. Oh, man. Wow, I didn't expect to catch this many red fish today with the weather being like it is. Oh, goodness. Whoo. Nice fish, guys. Whoo, look at him go. He still got lots of energy. I'm just gonna try to walk him back. Woo! I tell you what, this water got muddy quick, but it has not stopped these redfish from biting. And they are good size too. <sighs> Woo wee! He ain't giving up. Woo wee! I hear you, hoss daddy. You got so much fight in him. So much fight in him. I tell you, every time I come out here looking for a flounder, I know I got my leader the right length. I probably should shorten my leader up some because it's a little too long, maybe. Maybe by about six inches too long and they're just picking the mullet up. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get them in there. All right, we got it. Woo! All right, that's a good hook set right in the corner of the mouth. 
Wow, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, guys. Oh. I tell you what, we ain't had no problem with the fighting today. These fish, oh, I can hear them drumming. You guys hear that? Call them a red drum, red fish. They make that noise with their their stomachs. I'm trying to get it out of that old rubber lip. Getting bit by flies and everything else. Right on a piece of skin there. Yeah. Alright guys, we got redfish number three down here in the net. And I hooked him in the corner of the mouth. I got one redfish in the cooler right now. What a beautiful fish guys. I tell you what, this one here to be the size it is, he put up a really good fight. I thought he was a lot bigger than he was, but the little fella just had a lot of fight in him, I tell you what. Let's see if I can get him close and you can hear him grunting. That's why they call him a red drum, guys. For those of you that are not from around here, if you're from somewhere else, or some other part of the world this is a red drum this is one of the most sought after game fish here on the southeast coast uh, i live in mobile alabama but i mean texas louisiana florida all the way up to north carolina these these things are just the most sought after game fish that you can catch out here because they really do put up an awesome fight guys so let's get them back in the water I'm still hunting for that flounder. I just can't seem to find it. I don't know where they are. All right, check it out, guys. This is called a white trout. And it is much like the speckled trout, except it doesn't get near as big. And it's got teeth just like a speckled trout. But these are very good eating. This is definitely going to the house to be filleted. Uh, I love eating white trout. They are a fresh, white, clean meat fish, and they are absolutely delicious. This is uh, fish number four, not including that catfish. Uh, the bite has actually turned on today when the wind picked up, and uh, the tide is starting to change now. So it is a little rough out here but the fishing sure has picked up guys so hopefully we'll get that flounder if we don't we had a good day trying i think we got a fish on guys i just heard this thing scream while i was casting at some bait pick it up try to set the hook hopefully there's a fish on I'm trying to get my camera adjusted here before i get into action oh yeah he's on He's on. Nice trout. Oh man, he's hooked right in the bottom of his jaw. Try to get him in my bucket there. Woo! I got this little bucket set up so I can put some bait in it. The wind done got so bad it blew my my little pool with all my stuff ended up on the bank over there. And yeah, that's that's a nice trout. I I just lost a big fish a minute ago, and I think it was one of these. Let's see here. All right. 
Вот. Видите? Decent little trout right there. Uh, tell you what, that wind sure has gotten bad all of a sudden. Whew. All right, guys. Nice little speckled trout right there. Right at slot limit. Now I got a freezer full of these, so I'm gonna let him go. Some of y'all that's like, mmm, licking your chops right now, I'm sorry, man. I just got so many, I don't feel like cleaning this one if I already got a whole bunch. I'm trying to get the flounder. There we go. All right, guys, so this is the third episode I've been fishing in this spot. I just really believe that there's flounder here. Uh, me and my dad, we used to come here years ago, probably 10, 15 years ago when I was young, and we'd limit out every time on flounder. I mean, we'd have 10 per person. I don't know what happened. It's just not here. I don't know. It's not happening. Today, the water has gotten so muddy that I would just about have to hit the flounder in the face with the bait to get him to bite it. I mean look at this stuff I'm super muddy look see my shoe just maybe what one foot this i can't believe i caught the fish that i did today i mean i really wasn't expecting that especially when the wind started coming from the south and coming up this way but uh guys i really enjoyed uh doing this episode for you my name is paul d if you like this channel please like and subscribe uh, if you have subscribed, please hit that notification bell to the right hand corner and it'll notify you whenever there's a new episode. But uh, really guys, uh, catching live bait in its own habitat and using it, there's nothing else like it guys. I mean, it is just awesome. If the water was a little bit more visible today, I'd probably have a better chance of catching flounder, but I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to come back and try it again. <laughs> Make another excuse to go fishing. But if you look out here i'm gonna tell you guys how i pick a fishing spot not just in my boat but if i'm wading or whatever i got heron bay over here to the right then i got mobile bay out here to the left and this spillway right here is a great cut through for fish to connect to each side there's 15 30 feet of depth out there in the middle and it makes a good current a uh, good cold water current for the fish to swim through and most of the fish that I catch are out, out there in that hole so anytime that you see a situation like this if you see a bridge cutting off two bodies of water go ahead and try to fish that spot because I guarantee you there's fish there if you got live bait man you're gonna have a drag peeling good time so guys that's all for today it's about midday I've been fishing for probably four hours and I did pretty good I mean I got you know I got probably three redfish one speckled trout one white trout two catfish and it's just time to shut it down man it's just so hot out here uh, you know it's supposed to be fall like I said and it's probably 90 degrees so have a good day guys I enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time